Hello? This painting is titled Silent Cove. I did a series of paintings at the time of 9 11, and I had a TV running in my studio. The time when 9 11, the buildings came down, and, and it really did something to me at that time. I remember 20 years before, I went through a, a dry spell. At that time, I tried to go around the dry spell because I had, in my mind, I had the concept of painting. But nothing was coming out. It was in my mind, but in my hand, the colors didn't match anything that I wanted to do. That went on for eight months, trying to find ways to get back to, into my stream of painting. So I decided to do a series of sweat lodge ceremonies. And then one time, The medicine man said, where did you lose it? Just go back to that place. So I went back to Dreamer's Rock, canoeing around it. And there I saw, well in the dream first there was scaffolding around this big huge church. And that time I visited Germany and I seen the Dome Church in Cologne. There was scaffolding around that too. But that was in the dream. A few months after that, I visited Rome and seen St. Peter's, all the other churches for that matter. Some, some of them had scaffolding around them, but that wasn't it. Those weren't it. So that's when I decided to go back to Dreamer's Rock and search where I lost my, th my thoughts of painting. So I, I paddled, canoe paddled around the area of Dreamer's Rock, offering tobacco here and there. So I looked up towards the rock itself, the sacred place. And the trees that were around it, that was the scaffolding holding up the, uh, the rock. And I felt this enormous feeling that I found something, didn't know quite yet then. So that evening, I decided to paint and everything came through, the coloring, the thinking, and just doing what I need to do to complete a painting. So that 9-11, that's what it did to me. A tragedy. So I started thinking about, I think I'll make a series of paintings regarding to the 9-11. So this is one of them, it's titled Silent Cove. That morning, a spouse or a wife went to, uh, went to work in that building and one didn't return. These people, these two couples, Remember, there's a lot more, but these couple, man and woman, they were planning to have children. 
And on the legs of this image, this lady, you got the eggs, everything planned. And that was wiped out. All he has now, this lady, is prayer, the Thunderbird, communication with the Great Spirit. Below it, you'll see a club. Now, that lady will be fighting for himself. And behind her, there's a shield with sweet grass edges around it, edging. She'll fight by herself. And the egg below her chin, she only have the memories of the family, what she was gonna have. On the breast, she got the tree of life. She followed it the way it was thought, the way their, these teachings are given. No matter what, you're still going to go through the tree, no, the tree of life. Each branch represents discoveries. When you start feeling bored and anything like that, you exhausted those, that branch. You need to go back to the tree trunk and get yourself another branch. You to discover friends, books, times, memories, happiness, everything. And on the shoulders, you got the spirits, earth spirits, spirit within. We're not the only ones with spirit. The planet itself is a spirit. And, and it keeps giving us nourishment, food, for example. In the stomach, she has her egg. One day she will have a family. Silent Cove. It's a beautiful painting, it's a mural.